In writing, oh, <laughs> in writing to the Corinthian church, the Apostle Paul speaks about our gathering at this table. He wants to make sure that we understand what it's all about. And so he writes, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats a bread or drinks a cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning the body and blood of the Lord. Therefore let a person examine himself, and then so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. We take those words seriously. And so we invite all those who recognize the sacrifice of Jesus Christ as being for them, for their forgiveness, for their reconciliation to God, to join us as we partake of the bread and the cup. If you cannot honestly say that this is true in your life, please do respect what we do here. Let the bread and cup pass by you. But please stay with us, continue to worship with us. In the night in which he was betrayed, we read that Jesus took that bread, broke it as a symbol of his broken body, but in the process giving thanks as well. We too want to give thanks for what Jesus did on our behalf. I'd like to ask Brother Kevin to lead us in prayer. Father, we gather here this morning in remembrance. Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son, he who was without sin, to die on the cross for us. Father, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for the gift of salvation which is ours if we will only believe in Jesus Christ. Amen.
And Jesus says, do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, Jesus took a cup, saying that this cup represented the new covenant in his blood, shed for the forgiveness of our sins. And again, we want to give thanks. I'd like to ask Brother Jeff to lead us. Heavenly Father, we know that there have been many times where there have been sacrifices in blood and flesh to cleanse sins and to honor Father God, but there's never been one like Jesus. Jesus came and walked the earth as a man and showed us how to live and how to love one another and how to praise the Lord. He was the ultimate sacrifice for all the sins of man. There will never be another crucifixion or a death on a cross of any type like Jesus. He was the perfect one. He was so pure. He was the best. We thank you, Lord, for pouring out your blood on Calvary and the grace that you have for us and that you cleanse us with your blood. Thank you, Lord. We pray to live like you more and to walk in the, your footsteps. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And again, Jesus says, do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. <laughs> 